My name is Scott Walter. I'm uh, from DePaul University in Chicago. I'll be reading from Alison Bechdel's Fun Home, a family tragicomic. And I picked it for a number of reasons, uh, one of which is as I read this, it's uh, the day of the Pride Parade uh, back home in Chicago. Uh, my daughter and her school are marching uh, in the parade as they have for the last several years. Uh, and that's connection enough. Uh, but I picked a graphic novel as well because as my daughter's grown up, uh, that's been uh, a type of literature we've been able to share and uh, an experience of censorship uh, that she's begun uh, to appreciate as she's started reading these works herself. Dad was passionate about many writers, but he had a particular reverence for Fitzgerald. My mother had sent him a biography of Fitzgerald before they married, when Dad was in the Army. He'd been drafted after dropping out of his graduate English program, overwhelmed with the workload. References to the biography crept into his letters to her. The tales of Scott and Zelda's drunken, outrageous behavior captivated him. It could not have escaped my father's notice that during Scott's own stint in the Army, he wrote his first novel and began courting Zelda. Dad's letters to Mom, which had not been particularly demonstrative up to this point, began to grow lush with Fitzgerald-esque sentiment. After the biography, he tore through Fitzgerald's stories, seeing himself in various characters. Dad does not mention identifying with the character of Jimmy Gatz, but the parallels are unavoidable. Gatsby's self-willed metamorphosis from farm boy to prince is in many ways identical to my father's. Like Gatsby, my father fueled this transformation with the colossal vitality of his illusion. Unlike Gatsby, he did it on a school teacher's salary. Even so, his noblesse oblige was entirely genuine. My father even looked like Gatsby, or at any rate like Robert Redford in the 1974 movie. My parents took us to see it the moment it opened. Perhaps it seemed like a colossal illusion on my part to compare my father to Robert Redford but he was more attractive than the photographic record reveals. Zelda Fitzgerald also had a fluid charm, it was said, which eluded the still camera. I think what was so alluring to my father about Fitzgerald's stories was their inextricability from Fitzgerald's life. Such a suspension of the imaginary and the real was, after all, my father's stock in trade. And living with it took a toll on the rest of us.